Well, good morning to you. Good news. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. I've been talking to you for several, several days now, weeks about faith. And so I want to go to one of the greatest faith stories in the Bible, Luke chapter 7. The centurion had a servant that was sick and almost ready to die, and he wanted him to be healed. So let's just read this so that you can get it. Now, I may have to take two days on this one. So it says that a certain centurion servant who was near unto him and sick was ready to die. This is a verse 2 of chapter 7. <clears throat> and here's big key. When he heard of Jesus, now you know this, but how does faith come? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when he heard, so you got to hear with your ear, understand with your heart, say with your mouth for faith to operate. When he heard of Jesus, watch this. Now when he heard Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. So he heard that Jesus was the healer, and he wanted his servant that was dear unto him to live and not die. Now get this. <clears throat> and when they were come to Jesus, they besought him greatly that he was worthy, instantly saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this, for he loved our nation and he had built us a synagogue. Now, I'm going to throw one at you here that some people may not exactly want to hear. Faith people are giving people. Faith people are loving people. It says here about the centurion. Now, watch. He's not a Jew, so to speak. He's not a part of the uh, family of God that God had sent Jesus after, but he, he, he is a good person. Faith people are good people. Faith people are givers. And he had given enough to build them a synagogue. So it wasn't something that helped him, but it was something that helped the others uh, that were receiving from God and said he was a good person. He had built him a synagogue. So faith people are also givers. Now, when then Jesus went with them. Now, I got a church, a little church service one time all upset over this. You are the one that makes the demand on the power of God. And notice that Jesus went with him. Or like uh, Jairus, Jesus went with him or the woman with the issue of blood, she had to go to Jesus and touch his garment for each of them said. So you're the one that makes the demand on the promises of God or the power of God. And I really bluntly have to say it. You make a demand on God's power in your behalf and he will go with the one that has faith. Well, I've decided to be that one. So Jesus went with them. Now, when he wasn't far off, watch. When he wasn't far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying to him, Lord, trouble not yourself, for I am not worthy. Some people say, well, the big thing about faith there is he realized he wasn't worthy. Well, none of us are worthy of God's goodness and God's grace, but we get it when we believe him for it. Now, watch. Trouble not thyself. Now, this is strong stuff. Trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under thy roof. And where, wherefore, neither thought I should come to thee, but saying a word. Now, Jesus is going to make some statements here, so we're going to look at it real closely. He said, I didn't think I was worthy, not necessarily thinking that I deserved anything, but he said, saying a word. Watch well, now. When he, when he got there, he says, but saying a word. He said, I understand something. He said, for I am also a man set in authority, having one servant or having one person or soldier and say unto them, go. And he goes, and to another come, and he cometh, and to my servant do this, and he does it. Now, what he was simply saying is, I understand the power of words. Now, watch this. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled. I want my faith to make Jesus marvel. When Jesus heard what he said, I'm not worthy. I'm not basing it on my worthiness. I'm basing it on, on what your word says. And I am a man under authority. And I say to one, go, and he goes. To another, come, and he comes. Or do this, and he does it. And when Jesus heard these things, he marveled. <laughs> he marveled at him and turned about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith not in all of Israel. Now watch. Jesus said this man had great faith. Well, I believe Jesus is going to say this man, Frank, hath great faith because I believe what Jesus said, his authority and what he said will make it come to pass. See, I made a cup of coffee, but now I've got to enjoy it. Now watch. Jesus marveled at him and said he had great faith. 
Well, I want him to marvel at me for great faith. I don't want him to say, why is it that you didn't have any faith? Wherefore didst thou doubt? I didn't want him to say, oh, thou a little faith. I wanted to say he has a great faith. So watch. He said, but I say unto thee, one goes and he goes, another cometh. And when Jesus heard that, he marveled and said, I, I have not found so great faith in all of Israel. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. And it came to pass at that time, that very moment that Jesus said that, that servant was made whole. How do I have great faith? Well, very simply put, you hear the word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. It says when he heard about Jesus. So he heard the word. Then he made a demand on the word, made a demand on the power by asking, uh, by presenting his need. And then you understand the power of words because he came out and said, hey, you don't even have to come to my house because I understand words. I understand that if you say it, it'll come to pass. Real God kind of great faith is to hear the word, not look at the circumstances, to believe the word and therefore act on the word and make a demand or a request unto God and to believe that what God said is going to come to pass and then boldly say it. As simple as that. How much simpler can it be? You want great faith? Hear the word. Believe the word. Say the word. Believe that what Jesus said and what you say will come to pass and Jesus a marvel and saying, oh, you got some great faith. Hey, I got to go. Come back to this tomorrow. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day long, hey, Jesus is Lord, and you hear me say it every day. Thank God the word works.